The question is, my dear brothers and sisters, why were we created? Why you were created? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Why are you on earth? It is very simple, but sometimes it might become hard. Sometimes we forget why we were created. It is a question to ponder about. And another question. Do you fold the flesh or the spirit? Then another question. Whom do you follow? Jesus Christ is the servant of God who comes to announce the good news of the kingdom to every city, to every person. He heals, he teaches, casts out the demons. This is not only for the great cities, but also for the other villages, as we have heard. We are to follow this servant life of Jesus Christ in the daily events of our lives. The, the Apostle Paul calls us to this recognition in the first reading, always to focus on God. There are a lot of disunity among ourselves. There is a lot of disunity among our nations. We are divided, and that is what Paul talks about in the first reading. He calls us always to focus on God. On God. But when you listen to the news, you listen to each people, you see that People are disunited. What is our work today? To pray and to focus on God. Because you and me are servants, we have to learn from Jesus Christ the great virtue of humility. He has no attachment to any place or honors. But he realizes the need to spread the good news of the kingdom of heaven to other places. Jesus did not attach himself to anything. And we are his followers. We needed to detach ourselves from earthly staff. And Jesus be number one in whatever we do. We should not cling on them, but always to focus. The selfness of Jesus motivates him to preach to other people. Like Jesus, we should be motivated to reach out to others with the saving message of God's love. This message of love will help all people to be reunited in heaven. This is our goal. This is our homeland. And that's why Paul today says, you are behaving like infants. Like infants. That's why he was feeding them on milk. Because they had not yet grown in faith. They were still behaving like other people. So what is the difference between the person who has recognized God and the person who doesn't know God at all? If 
we say that we know God and we do things which other people who don't know God do, there is no difference. Because there was disunity among them. And Paul said, no, it should not be like that. Look at our church these days. We are trying, the church is trying to bring uh, churches together. Some parishes are merging, but others say, I'm leaving the Catholic church because they have merged my parish. That person has not known whom is following. We are not following the building. We are not following priest. We are not following anyone. But whom are we following? Jesus. And that is what Paul is telling us today, my dear brothers and sisters. Always to focus on God. Then we will be able to pray that Almighty God, you sent your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to preach the saving message of salvation to everyone. We pray that following his example, we too may be messengers of the saving message to everyone we meet in our houses, streets, places of work, so that all people may come to the heavenly banquet. That is our aim, always to preach the good news and to focus only on Jesus, not at any other person. Amen.